Super Solvers, Gizmos and Gadgets is another retro game that I used to play as a kid. The game was developed by The Learning Company and was released in 1993 on both PC and Mac. Since it's an older game, it is now available to play online for free, just like Oregon Trail. The game is targeted for ages 7 through 12 and is supposed to teach players about various science aspects such as energy, aerodynamics, machinery, and many others. I wanted to see if the game still held up for the modern player and if it was truly educational. The main object of this game is to collect parts and build racing machines to defeat the game's villain, Morty Maxwell, who has proclaimed himself the greatest scientist ever. The player builds things such as simple downhill racers, solar-powered cars, and complicated airplanes, among other racing machines. In order to collect parts, players must search the warehouse for crates and then choose the best version of each part to use. For a racing blimp, this means a narrow fuselage, fast motor, and aerodynamic gondola. It is possible to build your machine using any of the available parts, but if you're not careful in using only the best, you certainly won't stand a chance. The game still felt fun and educational to me after all these years. When the player goes through a locked door, they must solve a science puzzle to proceed. There are a few different varieties of puzzles that can be given. I think these puzzles are a good method for teaching basic science concepts to middle school aged students. The game can feel a bit repetitive once you've raced Morty a few times. There are 15 different machines to build, but the general gameplay doesn't change much. The game will adapt the puzzle and machine difficulty as you progress, so it will remain a challenge from start to finish. I would feel comfortable using gizmos and gadgets in my classroom today, and I think that students would enjoy playing this game.